What is the difference between mineral and chemical sunscreen? Mineral sunscreens use the ingredients titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and a lot of times these ingredients can leave a white cast on skin. So while chemical sunscreens use another group of ingredients like avobenzone and homosalate, and those tend to have a clearer appearance on skin. So I have two Banana Boat sunscreens here. Okay, so we have a mineral and a chemical. First, I'm gonna show you the mineral sunscreen. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my hand As I'm rubbing it in, it tends to leave this white cast on the skin. Mineral ingredients on their own, they're really like white powders and they're tiny, tiny solid particles. It's gonna look a little bit pasty. People with deeper skin tones are gonna notice this a lot more. So this can be a concern for some people. Some people really don't mind it. You know, it's a matter of preference. And now I'm gonna show you the chemical sunscreen. And I'll rub this one in. And this one really shears out to be completely clear. And that's because these UV absorbers that they use in the chemical sunscreens, they are kind of clear oily liquids. So they're not going to leave that white film or cast over the skin. They're going to really look clear on all skin tones. I personally prefer chemical sunscreens. I think they look better and they feel better on my skin. There's a myth that mineral sunscreens are more natural. The truth is that even these mineral ingredients that go into mineral sunscreens, they're not being harvested from the earth and used as is. They are also, you know, synthesized in a laboratory just like the ingredients that go into the chemical sunscreens. So they're not really more natural than the chemical ones. They're both really effective, so it's more a matter of preference and they're both great to use.